Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be creating a, it's a really nice wearable look. It's not too dramatic um, and it would suit almost anybody. I'm doing a soft mint green cut crease with a nice wink liner and lashes and then I've paired it with a kind of, I'm either going for a nude pink or just like a straight nude on the lips. So it's a really nice soft type of look. So if you guys would like to learn how to recreate it, then carry on watching. So first you want to put down an eye base. Um, I'm using the NARS Radiant Concealer. Next I'm going to set that with a matte eyeshadow that is similar colour to my concealer and I'm using this shade here from my Morphe 35N palette. Using this Inglot eyeshadow, it's just a pure matte eyeshadow. I'm going to use that to create a bright highlight in the inner corner of my eyes and I'm just going to pack that on until I'm happy with the intensity. As always, I'm going to start off with my transition shade. I'm using the soft brown eyeshadow from my Morphe 35N palette. And I'm just going to blend that into my crease. Using this warm, slightly cool tone brown, it's a matte brown from my Morphe 35N palette. I'm going to use my pointed pencil brush and I'm going to apply this into the crease, making it quite defined. Um, so you want to be very precise when you do this. Now I'm just going to grab my blending brush and just blend the edges out a little bit. Don't over blend it. Now this is only a sample size, it's not the full size, but I'm going to be using this Inglot AMC Gel Eyeliner and it's a really nice matte baby blue shade. And I'm going to mix a little bit of that with Duraline just to make it more liquidy. And I'm going to apply that all over my entire eyelid and I'm just going to carve just underneath the crease. Now I'm going to pack some pigment over the top. This is a sample size from Inglot. It's one of Inglot's pigments from the Mamma Mia collection. I'll leave the number down below so you know which one exactly it is. But I'm going to pack that all over the eyelid, pretty much over where I applied that cream gel eyeliner. Now if you're using pigments, I find the best brush to use loose pigments is using a flat uh, synthetic brush because it's quite hard and it's very compact so it's going to pack on that colour really well. Um, you don't want to use fluffy brushes. Going back in, I'm going to define the crease even more with that cool brown that I've used earlier. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of black from my Morphe palette. Um, and I'm just going to slightly define the outer third of my crease. Using my Jaclyn Hill Champagne Glow palette, I'm going to use the lightest highlighter which is called Pearl. And I'm going to use that to highlight under my brow bone. And I'm also going to apply that over the top of my inner corner highlight. So when I was editing my footage, I didn't realize that I hadn't recorded myself doing my eyeliner. I thought I pressed the button, but obviously I didn't. So I was really angry because I had a really good liner day that day. Um, but yeah, all I did was I applied my AMC gel eyeliner from Inglot in 77. It's the best gel liner ever, just the black. And then over the top, I applied my socialized lashes in the style Minx 2.0. To smudge out the lower lash line, I'm using those browns that I used earlier on, the soft brown and the cool tone brown. Afterwards, I'm going to use a smaller brush. This is my angled brush and I'm going to use a bit of that matte black and apply it very close to the lash line, focusing on the outer third and then I'm going to blend that out. As always, I always go back in and just clean up everything. I've cleaned up my highlight and then I've also cleaned up the crease as well. For the bottom lashes, I'll be using my favourite mascara and this is the Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. I do love this for my bottom lashes because it has a really fine brush. In the waterline, I'll be using the NYX Wonder Pencil in light just to further brighten and open up the eyes. For the lip
lips I'll be using this mauve lip liner by Essence it's called satin mauve it's a really nice mauve shade or kind of mauve baby pink shade then over the top I'm going to apply Colourpop's liquid matte lipstick in the color midi which is just a very light baby nudie pinky type of color once that dried I then applied the NYX Wonder Pencil and Light to the center. I just kind of applied it in the center and then I smushed it out with my fingers. And then over the top of that, not all the way around my lips, just in the center, I applied this MAC Mineralized Lip Gloss in the color Lapdog, which was part of a collection.